forget to honor one of our, our own. Thank you for joining us for one of the biggest announcements in the history of Ocean Lakes High School. Today truly is a proud day here. Please welcome from the All-American Games, Chris Zeller. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome each of you to the 2014 U.S. Army Selection Tour event. The U.S. Army All-American Bowl is a unique celebration of the American youth and the American soldier. Not just anyone can be a soldier, and not just anyone can be a U.S. Army All-American. To become either takes mental, physical, and emotional strengths that few possess, maybe fewer employ. It is these strengths, along with dedication, determination, and teamwork, that allow U.S. Army All-Americans to succeed and excel in school, in training, and most importantly, in life. It is the embodiment of these strengths that earn the U.S. Army All-Americans the right to wear the colors of the U.S. Army. For more than 13 years, the U.S. Army All-American Bowl has established itself as the nation's premier high school sporting event, and has featured a host of stars who have made their marks at the highest of levels. Andrew Luck, Adrian Peterson, Deshaun Jackson are just a few NFL standouts who have made their national debuts at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl. For more than one million high school football players across the nation, only the nation's top 90 receive an invitation to wear the colors of the U.S. Army and play live January 4, 2014 in the beautiful city of San Antonio, Texas, inside of the Alamo Dome. It is now my pleasure to welcome Sergeant First Class Donald McCaddy, who will be officially introducing your U.S. Army All-American to Bowl Week. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to be here at Ocean Lakes High School. Thank you for inviting me to take part in this extraordinary event. Now it's my privilege and honor to announce that Derek Knighty has been selected as the U.S. 2014 All-American Bowl. Derek embodies the characteristics and values of the Army Strong Soldier and we are proud to have him on our team. Derek Knighty, on behalf of the Secretary, Chief of Staff of the United States Army, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2014 U.S. All-American Bowl. Values that allow you to go out 
on the adventures that await you. And uh, I would definitely have to say that along with Mr. and Mrs. Dottie, the Dottie family, obviously sharing one of 13? Seven, seven, I forget how many brothers and sisters we had. But a very large family that's been through and through, part of the Dolphin family for many years, and obviously sharing with, uh, actually surprisingly, the baby of the family with us, uh, but also the Dolphin family here with the faculty, the administration, the teachers, um, there's just not teammates that are, that are out, out here supporting him. It's actually, obviously, uh, the core values and um, that, that the teachers and faculty, along with coaches, all come together to help uh, make what is uh, a wonderful young man with great potential. So thank all of you, and um, go Dolphins. Thank you, Coach Scott, and thank you to everyone else for joining us here today. In particular, I'd like to once again thank the members of the U.S. Army here today, Sergeant First Class McCaddy, <laughs> Captain Kirk, and Sergeant Army Squadron, and the I'd also like to thank our sponsors who make events like this possible, Adidas, Gatorade, Zenith Helmets, as well as the U.S. Army. Uh, don't miss a minute of the action during the months leading up to this game as the selection tour winds its way down to San Antonio, Texas, announcing fellow All-Americans from high schools across the country. You can watch the game live January 4, 2014 on NBC, and you can follow the selection tour, tour as we announce those All-Americans by following us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And finally, Ocean Lakes High School, you have been blessed to have three U.S. Army All-Americans. But let me tell you something, this young man right here will be representing you and your school down in San Antonio, Texas on January 4th. So let's give it up one more time.